Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the author and illustrator Eric Carle. Now he wrote and drew the pictures for the book The Furry Hungry Caterpillar, which I'm sure you have all read and enjoyed. So we're going to be creating some artwork in his style today. We're going to be creating an underwater scene because next week we're going to add a character in the middle. For this lesson you're going to need some wax crayons, a glue stick and some paper. You could use coloured paper. If you don't have coloured paper, then plain paper will be just fine. So pause the video and go and get everything you need for this lesson. So what Eric Carle does to create his wonderful, exciting, colourful pictures, he creates his own paper that he can work with. So we're going to do the same thing today. We're going to use rubbings to help us create some wonderfully textured paper. So we're going to have a go at creating some paper that we're going to use for the sea first. So we could either use blue paper, we could create texture on, or you could use plain paper. It's up to you. So this is where my wax crayons come in handy. So we're going to grab some blue wax crayons. I've picked three different ones and all I've done to them is I've taken my paper off them so they are completely bare. So then what we need to do is go and explore and go and find something that we can create a rubbing of on our piece of paper. So I've been on a search around my house and I found this lovely piece of metal that's got holes in it that's going to be perfect for my water. So I'm going to lay my piece of paper on top, my wax crayon, and I'm going to rub it all over. And then I'm going to do it again in a different blue. So I've picked a darker blue now. Look at that wonderful texture. It looks like bubbles in the sea. So I've got one sheet of texture ready. I'm going to do another piece now. So for this bit, I'm going to use some blue paper. So I've got a blue piece of paper now, and I'm going to add some texture on here. Now I'm not going to use rubbing for this one. I'm going to use some mark making. What I'm going to do is just add lots of lines. Fun bit, doing big scribbles. I'm going to use a different blue. And then I might even get a white wax crown and put that on top as well. So now I'm putting a grey on top. There, so we've got two different textures there that I can rip up and I can use for my C. So we've got our C. What do we need at the bottom? Should we do some sand for the bottom? So we could use some yellow paper, or we could use white paper again. And go off around the house and explore and see what you can use to rub over, to create a rubbing for the sand at the bottom. So I've gone and found this painted Aboriginal drum, and I'm gonna use my paper and hold it on top. You might need an adult to hold something still for you. I'm going to use yellow, I'm just going to rub it over the top. Now I'm going to add an orange over the top. So now I've got my sand, I've got my sea. I think we need some seaweed next. So you could go off around the house again. What colour is seaweed? Green. So get your green wax crayon and go and do a, a rubbing on something for your seaweed. So I've been off around the house with my green piece of paper and my green wax crayon and I found this exciting texture here that's going to be perfect for my seaweed. So now it's time to put it all together. I'm going to start with my sea first and I'm just going to tear strips of the sea. Really carefully, small little tears and I'm just going to do it in strips. Got one, another one, two. So do you remember we did a rubbing with our blue wax crayon first for our C? Well that's going to be our background and then we're going to stick some of these other pieces of C on top but we're going to leave a bit of a gap between them so we're not going to stick them really close we're going to leave a bit of a gap so the other textured paper comes through 
So grab your glue stick and get gluing guys. Oh, look at that, so there is our C. Now we need to add the sand at the bottom. So grab your piece of paper where you did your yellow texture, or you could just use yellow paper. And we're just going to rip out the shape of the seabed that's going to go along the bottom. And I'm going to try and rip a straight line across the bottom. That's my seabed that's going to go on top like that. If it's too big, then just rip it a little bit more off the bottom. Oh, perfect size now. So that's ready to be stuck on the bottom. So grab your glue stick again and get gluing, guys. So what was left next? What else did we do, Robins? Do you remember? Yes, our seaweed. So we need our seaweed to come out of the seabed up into the sea. So we need a few pieces. So tearing again, we're going to create seaweed pieces. Make them a bit more of an interesting shape. If you want to, you can cut them out. Sometimes it's easy to do our tearing. So there, look at that. I've got one piece of seaweed that I can put on top here. I'm going to have another piece, I think. How cool. And then guess what? Time to glue. Now why do you think I've left a gap in the middle? What do you think is going to live here? A fish, of course. So if you keep this for next week guys, next week we're going to have a go at creating a fish that can live in our underwater scene. Good job guys, well done, see you next week.